My name is Charlie Deepa, I'm the General Manager for Malawi Mangoes. Uh, we're a company that was established in 2011 here in Malawi. Uh, we're based on the eastern side of the country, just next to the lake, uh, in a town called Salima. Uh, very proud to be based in Salima, uh, within Malawi. Uh, since 2011, we've established a pretty significant operational base. Uh, we work now, well, we have a 320 hectares of drip irrigated mango established at our commercial farms um, and also work with around 5,000 smallholder farmers across the Salima district uh, all that grow and, 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 um, and sell mango to us here. Currently we're predominantly a dried business uh, so we dry and export mango into the European and UK markets also exporting some fresh into both India, uh, the Middle East and, uh, and some, some, some volumes into the Far East as well. So we're currently looking at expansion as a business. Uh, very critical focus on, on how we expand into the eastern markets in terms of our positioning uh, in the African continent, but also how we expand into the regional markets and, and South Africa being a, a really key strategic uh, development country for us. Uh, so you know, early season Tommy Atkins, uh, we sit around four to five to six weeks ahead of the South African season. Um, so a good opportunity for us commercially, uh, but also means that we can move some of our early season product to, away from our drying facility. But as a business, we're looking to see how we can diversify. Uh, so we're interested in, in, in fruit production and how we can you know, target both regional and international markets with both fruit and vegetable production from, from here in Malawi. We are internationally certified, uh, both our supply chain from, from all of our mango production so our commercial farms, plus also all of our small holder and outreach production is, um, is Global GAP certified, um, so good agricultural practices, so we follow international standards. Also our facility is, is fully BRC or British Retail Consortium certified as well. I'm Fabiano Chandama, I'm the factory site manager here at Malawi Mangoes. Uh, the mangoes, we receive them from our farms, the mangoes that we are will be exporting to South Africa. When they come here, they pass through the way bridge where we get the weight of mangoes. The quality people as well take the samples to, for quality checks. When they come at the receiving bay, we tip the mangoes into uh, the fruit washing basin. We wash them and they, then they are conveyed with the elevator to the brushes where they undergo the second washing. Uh, after being washed for the second time, they are dried. Uh, there is a big fan that dries the mangoes on the machine. From there, they go to sorting. Sorting is done manually by people. They take out mangoes that are immature. They also take out mangoes that are overripe. They also take out mangoes that have got cuts. All the mangoes that are good quality for export market are allowed to pass through and they are collected uh, at the exit of the pre-sorting line. From there, they are shifted to the hot water bath. We've got a hot water bath that uh, is set uh, at 45 degrees. We want to achieve around between 45 and 48 degrees. So the mangoes are put in the bath uh, for 75 minutes. We are doing batch heat treatment. In the hot water bath we also add a fungicide called teacher. The chemical is food great and we make sure that we've got certification that the chemical that we are putting there is food great and it is safe for use in the food industry. After the hot water treatment uh, we now run the conveyor of the hot water bath uh, to the parking line that we have. The parking line has got the uh, fans that do dry the mangoes because they were in water we have to dry the mangoes we dry them then we've got a singulator because we've got cups where we we are targeting that every cup must contain one mango so we've got a singulator that makes sure that all mangoes are in singles when getting into the cups uh, the packing machine is for sizing so we program the packing machine uh, according to the size of the mangoes. The smaller mangoes have to go 
on a, on the same conveyor medium mangoes on another conveyor we've got counts count 16 are the smallest mangoes uh, that we want to fall on the same conveyor uh, there is count 14 count 12 count 10 and count 9 mangoes count 9 mangoes are bigger mangoes so on every conveyor there are people putting mangoes in boxes they take them to a scale for validation to make sure that the 16 mangoes are achieving the 4 kg after verifying that the weight of every box is 4 kgs uh, we put the mangoes in boxes we put a label which has details of us as Malawi mangoes and Malawi as a country that is exporting the mangoes and the, where the mangoes are being exported to. We also put our global gap number on the label as well as all other information that the customer wants to be put on the label. Then we do palletizing. We palletize a one-ton pallet. Then we take that pallet into the cold rooms are set to achieve the temperature of between 10 and 12 degrees. So they are in the cold rooms 24 hours before dispatch. On the rejects, uh, there are two types of rejects. There are rejects that we can reuse on site. After ripening, some mangoes are still good. Although they were uh, maybe rejected because of cuts, but after they ripen, others are still for good use. So we take them for drying. So those that are complete rejects, uh, we take them uh, to our uh, rejects side on site. On the quality part, all our processes have got a quality team. My name is Hasu Adambula Cheva. I work as a plant health inspector uh, for National Plant Protection Organization within the Ministry of Agriculture in Malawi. And during the, the phytosanitary field visit at Malawi Mengos, we collected some uh, fruit samples for laboratory analysis to check whether they have uh, maybe eggs or larvae for fruit fly. They first of all undergo what we call registration, whereby the samples are registered in our register book. From there, the samples are now taken into uh, the laboratory for diagnosis. We first of all rinse uh, the mangoes or the samples using distilled water and then we bring on the working table now for analysis. The analysis is based on maybe uh, to check whether uh, we have some eggs on the fruits uh, and also we dissect the, the fruit to check the presence of maggots inside the fruit. Some of the uh, fruit samples are incubated in the uh, grass jars maybe for about uh, seven days to make sure that we observe any emergency of fruit flies. After the seven days and then we come again to check, we produce a report, uh, the laboratory uh, results report whereby we indicate whatever we have observed. The report is sent to the client for further recommendations. Uh, the importance of this process is to make sure that uh, the commodity that is being uh, that is expected to be exported to uh, to another country or on international market is free from any pest infestation as well as disease infection. After uh, ensuring that the the commodity or the product meets the phytosanitary standards. That is to say, it is free from any pest or disease that was declared on the import permit. Then we now go into the process of issuing a phytosanitary certificate. Um, we've had a very close working relationship locally with, with NPPO, um, both in terms of our you know, continued phytosanitary compliance here in Malawi uh, also with the Malawi Bureau of Standards, but also looking externally, um, we're currently exporting to the Indian market, for example. Uh, and yes, it's very important we maintain both those international but also local standards to ensure compliance with, uh, with our import or export partners.